right, what's going on everybody? Gaby Cardstacks here. Just got a ton of mail in today. Gonna be showing you everything that I've been picking up, why I've been buying it, how much I'm into it for, and what my plan is for all of it. I did want to announce another giveaway here. This is a Panini Contenders Football Blaster Box. Winner will be chosen on Sunday, July 30th. All you have to do to enter is like this video, drop a comment on this video, and of course be subscribed and you're entered to win. I, there is still one more day to enter my Prism Blaster giveaway. I'll be dropping that link in the description below. So if you have not entered to win that giveaway, now's your chance. Winner will be announced uh, tomorrow. So um, good luck to everyone. But again, wanna thank everyone for the support, all the likes, comments, shares, subscribers all the following on, on Twitter and Instagram and just all the general outreach. I definitely appreciate it all. All right, so jumping into the first package, I pre-opened everything just to make things easier. Got a Nicole Hardman Black Pandora Auto. I think I got this for about $30 shipped all in. I do like his position right now with the Jets, Aaron Rodgers, um, and just overall everything about their situation i think he could be a pretty decent sleeper i liked him in uh in kansas city and so just wanted to take a chance here at 30 dollars. black pandora auto figured i'll take the chance there number 25 pandora probably one of my favorite parallels for sure next up here pretty thick package and this is from dc sports cards so i won quite a bit of stuff on auctions the other night uh, so just gonna run through everything Malik Willis. I think I got this for like a dollar fifty just an optic hollow Just saw it. No one was bidding on it and then a Wandale Robinson red hyper I think I paid a dollar fifty for this. This is someone that I do really like um, So I like that pickup. This was the main card that I was chasing once I won this card I kind of went through just to see what else was out there. So Michael Penix jr. Bowman University yellow to 75 there I picked this up because I had just sold a uh, I think it's still called Lava Auto to 199 for I think 80 or 85 bucks. So I thought I got this for about $60. So felt pretty good about that. I knew it would go under. Just I don't think a whole lot of people are searching for Penix, but should be a, a Heisman contender. Uh, people really like UW and their receivers. So figured I'd take a chance on that. And then it looks like the rest are all just uh, United States Women's National Team cards. Rose Lavelle, one of my, my wife loves the women's soccer team. So, um, and part of my take had Rose on a long time ago. And I really liked that interview. So just some red parallels to uh, 199 there. And then my wife was telling me about this gal, um, a rookie card and, and, you know, has some promise. I think she was the number one pick in whatever league. So just, uh, I think I'm all into these for about 80 bucks. Uh, hopefully with the World Cup and such, you know, the soccer sees an uptick. I got these, I think, for like four bucks, and I think last were selling for about 20, uh, 15 to 20 maybe, and, you know, hope to sell this for at least $100. And then the other optics I'll just kind of hold. Next up here. Um, nice. A Tim Tebow Topps Chrome Refractor, so Swamp Kings. Uh, coming out in uh, about two months or so, I've been buying a lot of stuff, both for Tim Tebow and Johnny Manziel. I think I got this for a pretty good price, and I've been buying them just because the there hasn't been a lot listed lately. I think I got this for about fifteen-ish dollars or so, and uh, I think the next cheapest are around like thirty bucks. So, been hoarding these, any sort of color, orange, all that stuff. I'm really into that. All right, here we go. Kadarius Tony Optic uh, Auto. This is numbered to 150. We don't really know. It looks like just a base auto, but numbered to 150. So uh, I picked this up because I do like Kadarius Tony. I think he's got a lot of potential. And I think I paid 30 ish, $25. Bought it for, I sent an offer to someone. I didn't know it was their eBay. They reached out to me on Twitter. I was like, hey, just got your offer. I'm going to accept it. So uh, super cool. But, anyways, I've been buying Kadarius Tony. I just, I'm buying into the Chiefs just in general. I don't think you can go wrong buying into the Chiefs just with their offense with Mahomes and what he can do. Kadarius Tony, Sky Moore. I like a lot of those guys. Marquez Valdez Scandling Scan Marquez Valdez Scantling, I'll probably pass on, but I do see a lot of upside with Tony and uh and Sky Moore there. So I've been buying into into Kadarius. 
watched quarterbacks um, on Netflix as well. Um, I bought that a little bit before, but you know, they on the last season or on the last episode, they showed his punt return um, that almost went for the, a touchdown. It just reminds me how electric of a player he is. So next up here, let's see what we got. Um, nice. So uh, Amika Abuka, red, white, and blue ice, leaf metal auto number to two, two of two. Is that his jer that's his jersey number as well. So not that I would ever pay a premium for it, um, but I know it, it's it's sought after. So I bought this. I've been seeing his name a lot in mock drafts. Him going as a a top ten pick or at least the number two receiver off the board with like Xavier Worthy and Amika Buka, Ig Buka. Marvin Harrison, of course, is gonna be that number one guy, but been seeing his name a lot. Looked him up and he had some leaf cards, so I figured I'd take a chance. I might have paid a little strong on this. I think I paid 30 bucks for it all in, but number to two, um, you know, I just, I think there's a lot of upside there. I think he'll, he was the number one receiver in the country a while ago, or in his recruiting class. So who knows, but uh, expecting uh, big things from him just with all the draft reports and, and all that that I've been seeing. Um, next up. Let's see what we got here. Okay, nice. Uh, Damian Harris, Blue Optic Auto. This is number 275. I bought this just as kind of a handcuff. I've been buying into James Cook quite a bit. And I don't know, Damian just kind of makes me a little bit nervous that he's there. I think he could steal a lot of uh, production. But again, just buying into the Bills offense. A lot of people are going to be watching the Bills, and, and it's going to be a high-powered offense with Josh Allen. So for an on-card auto, color match, number to 75. I think I paid about 15 or 20 bucks for this. So uh, I like that pickup, just as you know, some insurance. I don't think I can lose much on that card. Next one here. That one was, was taped very well, so I, I had to make sure I could at least open it so I didn't struggle on camera here. Um, but looks like I'm gonna struggle here a little bit. And here we go. Andrus P, one of one championship ticket. I went to high school with Andrus. I went to middle school. We graduated together. Um, we were good friends in high school. I saw him at a wedding. Uh, I guess that was last year now, last April. Um, and uh, now he's he's starting with the Saints. Uh, he switches between guard and tackle every now and then. And uh, yeah, just uh, wanted to pick this up. I have every safe search of Andrus Pete that you could think of. Gold, black, finite, one of one, championship ticket, everything that uh, could possibly come up. So I'm um, waiting for his prism draft, black one of one to come up, his tops chrome super fractor, anything one of one that uh, I can be at my hands on. There's a national treasures draft day set that uh, it's like a spellbound basically, but it's a patch that spells out his last name. There's one in Com C for 80 bucks. I found the guy on Twitter and he told me to do 75. I paid $22 for this card alone. I'm willing to overpay on Andrews Pete, but $75 for a nameplate patch. I know it's basically a one of one, but nonetheless, this uh, I will uh, hold forever. A good friend of mine um, that I still kind of reconnect with every now and then. So very cool one of one there. Next up. Um, oh, wow. Okay. So this just never updated in tracking. I'm going to reach out to the person. Um, yeah. So this, this never moved. This just had, this just had the, um, uh, I guess it was just like, label was printed i guess i think that was just the first step and nothing ever happened i'm pretty sure this is the card so it, it this has been in the mail for at least three to four weeks um and i i just sent a claim to ebay and i was like hey you know i, I of course everyone hates when that happens right when you know someone it, there's no shipping update and someone's getting screwed out of a card right and so it just sucks um and so 
uh, yeah, I got refunded for it, and now I feel bad. So I'm gonna reach out, tell them I got the card, if I can make it right in any way for sure, just because if that were to happen to me, I would want someone to let them let me know that they got the card, and you know the refund doesn't need to go through. But anyways, Cameron Ward, been buying into him pretty heavily. I only paid like eight bucks for this number to four ninety nine. He's stupid cheap, I think. You know, uh, I saw somewhere. Um, Wazoo has like the number two strength of, or I guess the second easiest schedule in the country. So that made me feel really good. Cam Ward, probably one of the guys I'm most heavily invested in just because I think he could light it up after coming from Incarnate Word. Uh, next up, I've got three or four more here. Um, a nice little Tyler Algier, red optic, color match, auto, number to 75. I got this probably, probably pretty cheap, 15 bucks. Kind of a, a wonky auto there, but nonetheless. Um, an autograph color match. I, yeah, I can't imagine I spent more than 10 bucks on this. Um, again, 1,000-yard rusher last year. I know Bijan's there, and he's going to get a bulk of the carries, but I just think his stuff is too cheap where, you know, I, I find it hard that I'm going to lose on that. Uh, Rashi Rice. This is a guy that I just kind of learned about. This is from the newest Optic, or not, um, Chronicles draft picks, um, and they've got Optic in it. So sticking with Optic, there's a lot of other, you know, sets and stuff, but want to get Rashi Rice here. He is uh, with the Chiefs, so again, buying into the Chiefs. Just a cool little color match there with his jersey. There's also a red one numbered to like 450, 149, I don't remember, but um, only paid eight bucks or so for this, and, and this is going to be his only card for a while. He wasn't in Bowman. I don't think he has Leaf, so just need one good preseason game, just some good camp hype for him, and this is an easy double up for 20 bucks. Next up, let's see what we've got here. So this is Bowman University. Bowman's best. Uh, Daquan Finn, if I can figure out where this is sealed. There we go. So finally getting to the card itself here. Daquan Finn, Bowman, Bowman University's best. Um, Auto, gold, number to 50. I think I paid like 11 bucks or so on this. Um, I he was a I thought he was I thought it was odd because he was one of the very few people when they released Bowman University, uh, the actual set, and then Bowman Best. He was one of the few autos that they like added in there. I thought that was kind of odd. Looked into him, didn't really think much of it, but then kind of looked into his player profile and he's kind of electric. So, um, a lot of people are picking Toledo to win uh, the division again. I don't think there's been a repeat winner since like 2010, 2011, since Northern Illinois did it. But he's put up some stupid numbers. I've kind of been just intrigued. I think there's just a nice little flyer. You know, I'm, I'm into it for 12, 13 bucks. And, you know, maybe it's a $30 card. You know, maybe he can get Toledo to, to rankings. So, oh, I saw like a preseason ranking as well. And I, I saw Toledo um, in like a preseason poll. They were like 22, 23 or so. And then I remembered he had autos in there. So I was like kind of looking into the team, like what's the deal? They're returning a lot of guys on offense. He's electric. I think it could be a good buy, but just wanted a prospect on, on that. And then last one here, um, this is James Cook, Optigato. So I had the Damian Harris earlier. Again, you wouldn't know this is numbered or anything, but numbered to 150, I think I paid about 15 to $17 on it. Just a numbered auto optic. I've been buying optic more than I have prism for kind of prospecting purposes. So I was very pleased with uh, with this, just a cheap little pickup here. I think it could be $30 come season time. So that's everything that I've been buying lately. Just a ton of football as we get into you know, mini camp and all the good stuff um, as we approach football season. A ton of stuff that uh, I've just been buying into. So if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, leave a comment, um, subscribe. I just got everything, just gonna run through it, I guess. Um, as I finish up here, but yeah, just buying into football. And uh, anyways, if, if you like the video, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Um, you can like this video and comment and subscribe to be entered for the uh, Contenders Blaster right here. And then you still have technically like one more day to enter the Prism Blaster giveaway. That video is linked down below in the description as well. So um, that's all I got for you. Appreciate you all, and we'll see you in the next video.